What's going on guys, Zfreezone here and we're back with another hidey hole. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you hit the like button to let me know you subscribed so you can see some more on their way. This guy is right next to the Bridge of Betrayal as you can see in the distance over there. And if we have a look at the map, we are at 11FJ, FG, sorry, 11FG. Uh, if you come down here, you can see the Bridge of Betrayal and then you've got the Ice Shard. And then if you come over here where the bedroll is, is pretty much where we're going. So there you go. So let's get straight into this video. And as always, it's already built. If you stick around, you'll see the build. Um, I'll just go through it step by step with you guys so you can see how this is done. But before we jump in, make sure you have a bedroll down, just a disposable one, because this can get a bit hairy. But as you can see here, we jump in this little hole here. Uh, if you come along here, you can see there is a little cave at the end, but this little cave is turns into a small entrance down the bottom here, and then this small entrance is where you want to go, so you come up here, as you can see we are using hatch doors for this build, uh, so we come through the first hatch door, and then we come up and we've got the second hatch door, and then we come around that one, and then up here we've got the third hatch door. Remember they can't use arrows down here, and any explosive that is done, does half the damage than it normally does so that's perfect and as you can see this is all your storage they should be locked as you can see you can lock them but this is all your storage and as you can see there is so much room in here for more boxes so if you're just one of those big clans that just getting overloaded and you just want to store stuff and not worry about it too much this is the place to go I would say it's pretty well known but at the same time it's really hard to raid this place because they will be dying all the time trying to get your loot out and they might not even be able to get your loot because when loot drops in water you can't pick it up all the time because it's a weird, really weird glitch at the moment. But that is the place as you can see from here it's very hard to see and the further you go the, it just blends in that's why we've got the curved pieces. I am swimming back because we're going to run out of oxygen here. But there's three doors to get in there. As you can see, there's uh, three different air traps. So plenty of air traps in there. But if you guys want to see the build continue after this, make sure you follow along. And if not, um, I'm Z Free Zone. I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Plenty more coming. See you guys. Alright, one more thing, make sure you put a bed roll down because this might kill you. Uh, very high chance, but with the breathing mask it does help quite a bit. Uh, so this is the hole we are talking about, so we're going to jump right in. And then if you swim this way towards shore, which is towards a volcano it would be, uh, you'll see like there's this little cave at the back here. It's a nice big entrance. As you can see there, quite a nice big entrance, nice little cave. But then if you go down further, you'll see that this opens up into a whole new system just here which is even better to play with so let's this is where we're going to build and put our storage so we want to come down here we want to go these guys that are falling down i want to put it in between there somewhat so let's say right there and we'll go each side uh, we'll have to come up we're just going to put them on top there and then we're going to open this guy up and that's going to be the entrance and there we go we can swim up and through which is perfect and we don't have much breath uh, but we're going to just put foundations here on, on that side shove it on that side and put a wall right here and we need to get back and get some breath or we are going to die. Uh, eventually you'll start timing this right. Uh, when you come in and out of this all the time, you eventually know when you've got to get back and get the breath. As you can see now, we are pushing it kind of close, but not too bad at all. And that is enough to get the breath. We're going to have a look around. Everything's all good. Let's go back down. And now we're going to put the door on that... Um, trap door that we put down so as you can see you can't see anything around here and because we come out an extra foundation with it kind of blends it in until you get up close 
So there you go, the door is on, so let's go down and you can swim up like so, so that's just perfect. So let's palm out here with these foundations. Let's make a little platform around here. And that's going to be a good little spot so we could put some boxes down. And then we're going to go up a level here. And we're going to come out again, as you can see there. Beautiful. So now we're just getting layers and layers of places we could put boxes. Uh, we're going to put one there just so we can put one there. I'm going to delete that. And then it's not going to let us run across there. No. Nope. So we're going to come over here. As you can see, I'm trying to do this rather quick because we are running out of breath quite fast at the moment. So that is pretty good for now. So let's get back down to this hole. And we're getting up to this hatch. Come up the hatch. I'm going to swim back to the breathing spot. But as you can see now, that was done pretty quick with the one breath. And that is pretty much laid out. We're going to be pushing this rare hole real close. We're probably going to start dying in a second here. But we should have enough. We just made that. That's nice. All right, so let's go back under and now we are going to put some ramps on this guy because this will blend in a little bit more which is what you'll want uh, even if people do find it down here they'll come down and they'll start placing bombs but the bombs take double the damage down here so if they were trying to blow up down here it would take them twice as many bombs just to get through this place you can see there we are building that up uh, you can always put one here as well and then delete it as you're going in and just replace it if you've got the materials to do so I'd suggest doing that uh, but we are back in here so let's put a, another hatch door here because this will just make them struggle to get into this place and that is what you want so there we go there and we're going to put the foundation there and then we're going to make sure that we can still go out of this place down up and then back up perfect so that is the entrance done and then once you're in here you want to have your boxes spread out all over the shot uh, but we are going to go back down because we need some oxygen so we'll put that there just to even it out my brain is saying it needs it uh, open up this guy, come out, and we're going to run back to the oxygen. As you can see, it's just a real back and forward, especially when you're starting to build this in. When you have storage in there, it's good to have someone who knows where all the storage is in there. It can take a little bit to bring stuff back and forward, but that's just the same with any storage, really. And then when you're looking for something, uh, it's good to have it all laid out with the thralls in one box and building mats in another box, bombs in the other box, just so you know exactly where you're going to go because you really don't want to spend too much time just sitting in there looking at boxes but then you know you could always come down naked as well and then just come down and just look in the boxes and then die and then go back to your bedroll, come back, look at the boxes you get a little bit, you get like double the time doing that so yeah, always keep that in mind but what we're going to do here, we're just going to swim sideways and we're just going to place boxes down and that will place them down nice and neat. So that is what you want in there. Uh, we are going to do the same here. Yeah, this will take someone ages to raid, not because it's a hard raid, but because it's a pain in the ass because you're coming in and out all the time. And as you can see there, we've got three layers of doors now, just to get in and out of this sin. Uh, you can always move these hatches around to the right facing way as well. At the moment, they're not really. But yeah, three hatches to get into that place, and we're going to place a lot of boxes down. I'm just going to keep going back and forward, um, but you get the rough idea at the moment. Um, it is a pretty good spot. I would say it's a well-known spot, but at the same time, if you claim this spot, you are better off than most people on this server. Just the sheer bombs they have to use to get into this place. How many times they're going to die just trying to get into this place? Just because of the fact they're going to drown. 
Like, he's absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, definitely keep that in mind. Uh, let's get down here again one more time. We'll place more boxes down and then we should be done. Let's get in there. Beautiful. Up again. And if you want to make more hatch doors and more traps along the way too, you can always do that. Uh, hatch doors can be a bit glitchy like that, but you do get in there. So it is fine in the end. Uh, so let's place some um, up around here. Uh, again, we are just swimming sideways and placing boxes down. But yeah. You could fill this place out with boxes and you'll have a ton of storage down here. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this episode because I enjoyed doing this one. But um, yeah, if you so, hit the like button so I can know that you guys are liking this series. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. We've got a lot of people watching and not many people subscribing. So yeah, love, give us a little bit of love and um, I'll talk to you guys next time. Catch us.